Hello, fellow drinkers. Today, for this festive holiday season, I have Great Lakes Brewing Company Christmas Ale. So I actually hadn't had their Christmas Ale before, so this will be the first time trying it. So I'm super excited. Um, this release first started to come out in 1992. And Great Lakes is in Cleveland, Ohio, and was started by the brothers Patrick and Daniel Conway. And this beer has an ABV of 7.5% and an IBU of 30, so it's not hoppy at all. And I got this one for $11 at our total wine, and it's made with ginger, cinnamon, and honey. So I'm hoping I can pull some of those notes out. I don't know, my taster hasn't been the greatest lately, so we'll see. So what I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna take a look at the color, I'm gonna smell, and I'm gonna taste, and then I'll tell you what I think of the beer. I really enjoy the spiced beers. Um, I haven't had one I don't like yet, we'll see. I have the Chimay glass as well, because this came in a Christmas gift set, and I felt like I wanted to drink out of a chalice, and this is the only one I have. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. The color here, it is a very um, ruby copper, so on the smell, Picking up a little bit of the hops on the smell. Definitely just picked up some cinnamon. Not too different in terms of their Christmas beer. It smells more like nutmeggy cinnamon than like pumpkin pie cinnamon, but reminiscent of it. Almost getting like a gingerbread smell too, which makes sense. It, it's brewed with ginger as well, so it could just be my mind playing tricks on me, but I would say like a cinnamon gingerbread smell. Let's go in for a taste. Mm. So it is a little hoppy, but I definitely got the cinnamon and the ginger. Kind of tasted like gingerbread. Let me let me taste it again here. I'm getting kind of hoppy. I'm gonna, it moves into kind of gingerbread, cinnamon, and the honey sweet at the end. I think that's what I would describe it as. What I really like about it is you can taste the cinnamon, but it's not overpowering by any means. Um, it's definitely toned down. It drinks more like a beer um, than with a little hint of spice than a full-on bombard you with Christmas spice. All in all, I think it's a really good beer. I'm definitely glad I was able to get it. Next year I'll have to, they do a first pour of it, I'll have to see if I can get to Ohio to, to do that if, if we're out of these 2020 times. It was really good beer, I really enjoyed it, and I hope that you guys are able to pick it up. It's only available for eight weeks though, so you better get going on it. We're probably towards the end of that because um, I saw it out in October. So <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you have a fantastic day. Cheers.